Logistics management is a process. Process of information handling and product handling. So there are two factors being handled in logistics. Information handling and product handling. Without effective logistics and distribution system, customer service and product delivery system will be in chaos and that may affect the financial side of the business. If you're not familiar with logistics management, don't panic because in this video, we will discuss the very basic of logistics. The distribution network of logistics management. They are, they differ in the type of business they belong. How logistics work for manufacturing. This is a flowchart designed by ProCredep. In manufacturing firm, the company maintains the warehouse for raw materials. Warehouse for raw materials. The raw materials, the end user will be the customer here. So the production department will be the one using or assembling the raw materials from the warehouse of Romat. After finishing the product, after completion of the production, all finished products will go directly to the finished goods warehouse. So they have the raw materials warehouse and the finished goods products. And those incomplete products will stay in in process warehouse. Usually in process warehouse is inside the production plant or inside the production compound or department because they will later on complete it. Now, all the finished products inside the warehouse will be distributed and allocated to different customers from different areas. Customers, dealers, and other intermediaries. This is how logistics work for a company with production system or manufacturing. Now, how logistics work in a distribution company or marketing firm. They only market the products. So the company receives the products from the suppliers, maybe from different suppliers, and store it in the central warehouse. They have the warehouse for finished products. And later on, this will be allocated and distributed to different customers, dealers, or other intermediaries. This is marketing firm working for logistics. There are also logistics business whose business is really logistics and they are called the 3PL or the third party logistics. The third party logistics will receive the client supplies, the client's product coming from suppliers of the client. The 3PL is paid by the client, not by the supplier. The supplier is the supplier of the client. It the supplier of the products and the client has negotiated for delivery. That the suppliers of the client advise their supplier to deliver it at the 3PL warehouse. Now the 3PL service provider will be the one distributing it to customers, dealers, intermediaries, and wholesalers. This is the logistic system for a third-party logistic service provider. This is how they differ. We do not own the 3PL. They are subcon to handle our products. Our products coming from the suppliers will be delivered directly to the warehouse of the 3PL. And we will pay the 3PL as well, of course, the supplier. So, the supplier of goods is the supplier of the client who will pay the 3PL. The 3PL is paid by the client, not by the supplier. Okay, so this is how they work. These are the different networks of logistics. Logistics management is a detailed process of organizing and implementing an operation from raw materials to finished products or finish from suppliers to finished products and then to end user. 
the basic again, going back, as a new manager of logistics or supply chain, what should you monitor? You will only monitor three resources. There are three resources in the warehouse logistics. Manpower, space, and equipment. These three are your key resources in the warehouse. How many people should you have in the warehouse? How big should be the space? And how can I optimize the equipment? Three resources. Now, the warehouse logistics has also three key activities. What are the three key or major activities in the warehouse logistics? Inbound transaction, outbound transaction, and then storage space. Inbound, this is the activities in receiving materials from suppliers or receiving return materials from customers or dealers. Outbound, these are the items for delivery, external. Storage, these are the activities for stock arrangement, space allocation, and housekeeping and cycle counting. At the end, I would like to suggest strategies, basic strategies. Logistics basic strategies should include you as a new warehouse manager. You, uh, you have to optimize your three resources. How would you optimize your manpower, space, and equipment? Develop a long-term plan. What should you be doing? And five years from now, how smooth is your operation with regards to customer complaints, productivity, and accuracy? Logistics manager should learn to develop and enhance your interpersonal skills in order for you to deal with warehouse and logistics personnel who are busy, who are hardworking, learn how to deal with them, learn how to build a team, focus on critical factors such as customer complaints, employee complaint, safety, and health. Safety of the products as well, safety of the personnel and health inside the operation. Monitor your performance in the logistics warehouse in terms of customer service. How can you zero out customers complaints? How would you increase productivity? And zero out accident and damage to the products. Thank you very much. I hope you learned and thank you for learning. Please subscribe.